Hey, what to do guys it's your boy rich here with another video probably the most important video i ever made on this channel this is a foreigner tier list but this is a cosmetic tier list and i know a lot of people are like hey man we need to know who's the best characters for season 11 and and whatnot but we don't care about that shit honestly we just care about who looks cool because right now the state of balance is fucking abysmal and we're not gonna even go over that. A tier listing ain't hard to make, okay? If it's not Raider and it's not Hidokiri, don't play it. If that's what you wanna play it by. But all bullshit aside, guys, this tier list is just for cosmetics. If you wanna know which characters look cool, maybe you wanna rep someone up so they can look dope, and maybe you don't know what they look like at high levels, even though you could search it, you could search it. But that's what I'm here for. I'm here to tell you guys my opinions, my thoughts, you know? And we're gonna have different thoughts because, um,. There's a few characters that maybe you think look cool, like JJ, I don't think he looks good. And that maybe I don't think look cool. And it's just all opinion based guys, but this is my thoughts on it. And if you guys have any anything against what I'm saying, just let me know down in the comments and we're gonna, we're gonna get started. So first character guys is the newest character cause he's not on this tier list. I just found this tier list on, online. So his picture's not here. So I went ahead and grabbed a picture online of him. So, yeah, we're gonna go with him first. And personally, I believe the Yormungunda is gonna be an F tier. I really don't like what they did with his design. I think he looks off awful, like real awful. Even his high level shit, the, the man don't look good. Okay, he does not look good. His hammer's too small. He, he just ugly. Okay, he's gonna go in F tier and he definitely needs a buff to his cosmetics because he looks disgusting. All right, so next character, we're just gonna go based on this list right here. We'll just go in order. So we got Berserker next. Now Berserker, he has some decent stuff, nothing too crazy. So we're gonna go ahead and slap Berserker in the C tier. Only because to really make Berserker look cool, you gotta buy that wolf helmet ornament. And not nobody, nobody trying to buy an ornament just, just for the helmet. You know, I think it's actually 15,000 if I remember correctly, but I don't. So there's that. But Berserker, he's just a mad looking character. Um, the new shit they added, the Coke face, kind of ugly, in my opinion. I am not a fan of it. And yeah, so for that reason, Berserker's right here chilling up in C tier by himself. So let's go on to the Black Pryor. Now, Black Pryor, he's going up to A tier. And I would have put him S tier if he had more customization options, but he doesn't. You know, you got like the skull face mask, you got the one with a few horns sticking out. And that's pretty much it. I think um, for the most part, all the other helmets are ugly with him. And his chest pieces are cool. I mean, everyone digs the cape, of course. Everyone loves the cape. And the cape alone is enough. Like, you could be a, a blank character just with nothing. Like, you could just be a black silhouette. And if you have a cape, you're already in B tier. So... Him having cool helmets and shit boosts him up to A tier. So yeah, let's get on to the scent. Now my boy, the scent, he's going straight into S tier. No joke, the Centurion looks like super dope. He's one of the coolest looking characters. His design, he be punching motherfuckers. The Centurion, if you're looking for a, a cool ass, just cool looking motherfucker, Centurion is it. And then like a lot of his emotes, he shows off. You know, a couple executions, he just like shows off and like. Overall, I think Centurion is one of the best looking characters. All right, my boy Conk. Now, this is gonna be a surprise to everybody, but Conk is low key B tier. I mean, a couple of his helmets are cool, but overall, like his high level design, I don't think his high level shit is all that cool. The new shit with the whole bucket head on top and shit, I'm really not a fan of the bucket, to be honest with you guys. And that's, that's just how I feel. I've seen some cool looking conks, but nothing that just blew my mind and be like, yeah, this guy is S tier. So yeah, conk looks meh. And by the way, uh, if you play conk, I don't like you. And we're just going to leave that right there. Gladiator. My boy, the gladiator. Now, if I put gladiator in A tier, that'll not be doing him justice. Gladiator looks fucking dope. Okay. I don't think anyone's going to disagree with this. Um, he has the fucking Roman helmets. Uh, he just, he looks so cool. He has a skull face. He has the black and the gold. When you put the black on him, it looks so nice. Um, he has minimal materials on him. And then he has a lot of metal, but he, the mix with metal and the materials. Overall, his design is fucking sick. And I don't think anyone's going to argue about Glad in S tier. All right. Hit Kiri. 
I just I just noticed something. Hold on, guys. We're gonna turn off the image of the Jorgamander because, um, yeah, fuck that guy. But anyway, uh, Hiddle Kiri. So the Hiddle Kiri, um, D tier. So the reason I put this ugly fuck, spammy, broken character in D tier is simply because I'm not a fan of the hair that drapes down. It's kind of ugly. In my opinion, I think that without the hair, she would have been probably higher, way higher. Like if she had more face masks and stuff, she would have been way higher. But with the hair and that whole little thing, the whole little shebang, it's not it, Chief. And if you put a dude, it really looks, starts to look weird. And you look like a cross-dresser. And I don't think anyone loads up for honor to look like a cross-dresser. But there's, there's probably some people. All right. This is the Highlander. Highlander. I have a repped up Highlander because I tried to get him to look cool. You know, we're going to put him right here. The skirt is not it for the Highlander, all right? The old man with the skirt on, that's not it, okay? Um, I know there's some people that are going to disagree with this one for sure. But as far as me, I personally am not a fan of the skirt. And I think that he could have done away with it in some of his cosmetics, at least. And then, like, his faces, he looks old in most of them. I think he has one young face and... Yeah, the, the whole having a skirt and the young face and the old face, I mean, uh, yeah, that whole little thing is not vibing with me. So he's going to go ahead and go in D tier. And JJ. Um, the JJ actually gave me nightmares when he first launched. And for that reason, we're going to put him in E tier. But overall, I don't think the JJ is anything special. Um, I've seen plenty of high rep JJs and they're just... They're just meh, you know, they look kind of like they're low rep with better colors, like they'll be having black on and shit, but overall the JJ is just not a good pick for cosmetic wise and I would probably stare away from him. Ah, Kensei. I have a repped up Kensei. Mm, it's definitely between B and C with him. He's kind of just average, you know, he doesn't look bad, he doesn't look great. And maybe if the if the Marching Fire expansion update didn't come out and they didn't give him that fucking orange hair and that stupid face, then he'd probably be higher. But matter of fact, just thinking about that shit just gave me a flashback and I don't I don't like it. So he's gonna go down to C tier. Disgusting. Disgusting helmets they just added. They're not cool. If you wear them, you're trolling. And yeah, it's not cool. So he's gonna go to C tier. He's average, you know, okay. And Lawbringer, Lawbringer shoots up to S down. Only the Knights are in S tier right now. Sounds like someone's a little biased. Um, yeah, Lawbringer is S tier. The material he has like so much metal on that when you change his material, it really just like stabs out and pops. And I don't think anybody's really gonna disagree with this one. So Lawbringer looks sick. He is sick, and you should definitely put Lawbringer if you're looking for a, a, a cool looking character. No boo boo. No boo boo, B and C. She's just average. We're gonna put her in C. Just an average character, kind of meh. Yeah, her customizations aren't crazy. They aren't out this world. You know, she looks decent when you wrap her up and get her some nice shit on. She looks decent. That's that, that's no no lie on that part. But yeah, overall, nah. Nushia, Nushia is gonna go in D tier. The only reason I put her in D tier is because a couple of her mask helmets are have like some weird pattern on them. Nobody's really fucking with the pattern. And low key, she's kind of cross-eyed. Orochi, easy S tier. Easy. Orochi's character design is so cool. Like, he just like, he's kind of just like all over the place and like flashy a little bit. And he's kind of cocky. You know, his emotes, uh, his gear is fucking awesome. His swords look cool. Orochi is a definite S tier and super easy for new players. Um, definitely give Orochi a try. Peacekeeper. We got someone down here where the Yorgamander will be at the end of this video. Peacekeeper is going in F tier because I think her gear kind of looks trash. It's hard to mix and match like the gear with her because like her helmet will be leather and then like her body will be fabric and it'll be a different color than the helmet. And that alone is kind of annoying. Um, it's really hard to mix and match gear with her. Her new faces look cool. I like her unmasked self a lot. She looks kind of hot. Um, I did try to shoot my shot at the Peacekeeper in the DMs and got curved. And she tried to cut me. But that's neither here nor there. Peacekeeper F tier in my opinion. I think they need to give her a better mask and some better colors on her body pieces. But other than that, she kind of thick. And yeah, she's an F tier. Um, Raider is just another mad looking character. You know, he's, he's a monster right now. He's OP. 
we all know okay but as far as like how he looks is disgusting i don't really like it all of his helmets are meh he has nothing that really pops or stands out to you and um it doesn't really matter though with raider actually we're gonna go ahead and throw a raider in s tier because you know he looks bummy yeah but you don't really get to see him because when you're fighting against him you're stunned the whole time so he should be in c tier but if he stuns you he's s tier so we're gonna slap him in s tier um if anybody's confused that they skipped this part please let them know in the comments why this bummy character is in s tier Aramusha. now if i didn't put Aramusha in a tier or s tier i'm sorry then it would be kind of doing him an injustice Aramusha's character design how he cocks his head down the whole time and the open shirt you know the tattoos Aramusha looks so fucking dope and his sprint like with the two swords and shit he looks so cool like his design is cool they did an amazing job on the Aramusha, and i think overall he's for sure one of my favorites now the shaman's going to d tier she has one cool helmet she has like a face painted on her eh, on her face i sounded kind of weird but um yeah i don't know i don't know nothing really special about shaman nothing really stands out to me like oh damn that's dope so we're gonna go ahead and slap shaman in d tier fuck that character mm, my boy the shaolin now i used to be a main of the shaolin i repped him up he has one cool helmet in my opinion everybody wants to wear the monkey mask uh, i don't think the monkey mask looks cool guys i don't think it looks cool everyone wants to wear the monkey mask so or the blonde hair looks super stupid but the helmet I wear is the one with the black mask and the black headband with this bald head showing. I think that one looks really nice and I think it's kind of underrated. Shinobi's going in B tier as well. He has a lot of cool little masks. Overall, Shinobi's design looks pretty cool. He looks like a Mortal Kombat character in my opinion. And I just like his design. I think even like low Shinobi look cool. So it's kind of like doesn't really do him justice in high tier that a lot of his gear is similar to his low tier gear. But yeah, um, Shinobi B tier, easy. I hate the Shigoki. The Shigoki and the Shaman, my most hated characters in the game. And if I was making a tier list, they'd be S tier. But Shigoki's fat ass, we're probably gonna put him in C tier. He does have a couple cool helmets, I can't even lie. Um, and a cool chest piece, one with his chest all open and shit. It's the only thing that puts him in C tier. Because other than that, he'd be right here in F tier with Peacekeeper and Yorgamander. So we're gonna put Shigoki in C tier. Tiandi. Now, Tiandi's voice lines are really annoying, but I'm not going to put him in the E tier for it. I'm put him in... Uh, we're going to put Tiandi in C tier. Only because he kind of has a similar problem as the Peacekeeper. A lot of his materials don't match each other, so it's kind of hard to mix and match gear on him. And, like, his helmets will have teal, and you can't change the color of that. They'll have, like, a peach tint, can't change the color of that. And overall, like, high rib Tiandis are just mad. Like, they, they look decent, but they they don't look crazy. And they don't stand out too much to me. Valkyrie. Now, this might be a surprise, but I'm going to put Valkyrie in A tier. Um, Valkyrie has some cool cosmetics. So a lot of her spears are cool. Uh, her ornaments really stick out. They're, like, really big, a couple of them. She's just overall cool. She has the Ugg boots. You know, you can't go any character with Ugg boots automatically goes into B tier. And she has some cool masks. The hockey mask is cool for her. I think overall... She's pretty good. A tier. I'm going to go ahead and put Warlord in D tier. I think all Warlords look the same to me. I don't know if it's just me or if it's just like I play against people with no style. But all Warlords seem to always look the same to me. And I don't know why, but they just do. So for that reason, I got to put Warlord in D tier. Nothing crazy. Nothing cool. Now, if this was an executions tier list, for sure in C tier. Like he has some dope ass executions. But other than that, he's kind of just meh. Now, Warden. We all know where Warden was going. Um, this is no surprise. Warden is going to go ahead and go into the fucking S tier. So, yeah, guys. Um, Warden has some cool ass helmets. Super dope ornaments. One of the best looking characters in the game. And hands down, Warden S tier. No, no complaints there from nobody. I'm pretty sure we've all seen cool Wardens. Like, it's, it's just a thing. Okay. And yeah, guys, that's the tier list. If this tier list um, helped you out, I guess, leave a comment, leave a like. Thank you guys so much for tuning into the video. And I will be coming out with a real tier list, guys, for 4v4s and 1v1s. I appreciate you guys tuning in. Leave a comment, leave a like, and have a wonderful day. Peace out.